The man accused of driving the stolen car that killed a senior is now out of the Orange County Jail. Seneca Howard posted a $1,000 bond last night on charges of grand theft auto. But neither Howard nor an accused accomplice are facing charges yet related to this deadly crash. New 6 investigator Adriana Ivashinsky has been making calls to find out why she's live at the Orange County Jail with what she's learned. Adriana. Yes, I spoke with a representative from the state attorney's office, and she tells me while state attorney while state attorney Aramis Ayala is out of town today, she will be back in the office tomorrow and is going to take a closer look specifically at this case and find out what happened and why Howard was let out of jail. And the victim's family wants to know that as well. According to jail records, 33-year-old Seneca Howard bonded out of the Orange County Jail late Christmas night after spending two days in the hospital for the crash that killed 89-year-old Sammy Lee Johnson. She was, the, she was the backbone of this family. Also inside the car, her son and daughter who survived. On Tuesday, we talked with Eric Siplin, Johnson's other son, who was at home at the time of the crash, about how they're getting by. Oh, got to pick up the pieces and try to move forward. You know, I got a sister laying up in the hospital with five broken ribs, so try to console her and let her know that, you know, things are going to get better, you know. Now Johnson's entire family is trying to understand how two convicted felons accused of causing the deadly crash aren't facing stiffer charges. The action is just un, just un, just un destroy the whole family. We checked and court records found Deontay Slaughter was on pretrial release from a prior drug charge, but that has now been revoked and he was denied bond due to this recent charge of grand theft auto. Court records also show he is facing charges in Lake County after getting caught in a stolen car with stolen property back in September. As for Seneca Howard, he was just found guilty back in October for stealing a TV from Walmart. According to the public defender's office, even though he was ordered months of prison time, he was given credit for time served. We also learned that even though Howard has been charged with multiple felonies in Orange County, documents show the state attorney's office did not have enough information to file on two of them and chose not to prosecute Howard on three more cases he was involved in. We are still waiting to hear from state prosecutors why that happened and why he's not being held in jail for the deadly crash. Now, we also consulted with our legal analyst, Stephen Kramer, and he tells us with the holidays, the state prosecutors may have had a backlog on all the criminal cases that have been filed both on Christmas Eve and on Christmas Day. That's because the courthouse was closed on both Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. So that is one fact of why this may have happened. And another thing is it's possible that no one caught the fact that someone died during this stolen car crash, and that is why Seneca Howard was given the bond of only a thousand dollars because that is what is on the bond schedule for something like a stolen car and that is probably why he got a thousand dollar bond instead of being held here at the orange county jail now we will be keeping a close eye on this and break whatever developments happen with it both on on clickorlando.com and on air reporting live in orlando adriana yvashinsky getting results news six truly head scratching adriana thank you